Hello Biotechnica, welcome back again. So today I'll be talking about the MSc Zoology and MSc Botany. So where should a botany and a zoology candidate should go and grab the career? So today I'll be talking about the zoology career scope and the botany career scope together in one short video. So let's talk about the zoology career scope and botany career scope in detail. So let's proceed on to the video. So first, let me talk about if you are a graduate who are actually studying MSc in zoology, then I'll be talking the complete details of this one, or I'll be talking about the botany career scopes in detail. So first, let me take you to zoology career scope. So if you are a botany candidate, you just have to stay a moment. I'll be talking about zoology and then we'll proceed on to the botany. So who can look for? Yes, if you have any kind of specialization in zoology, then you can definitely go for it. Suppose you have a specialization in marine biology, then and definitely you can go for it if you have any specialization in zoology then you can definitely look around this and what are the sectors that you can enter after your msc in zoology which sectors you can enter so you can definitely go into a college or university working as a professor after clearing your csar net or your ugc net and then you can join as a professor in a college or in a university this is one of the option the same goes for the botany candidates also conservation agency of course you can actually become a cons you can enter into a conservation agency working as a zoologist conserving the wildlife animals and animal clinics, yes, this is one of the important thing that I can say for a zoology candidate is veterinary sciences. So if you have not entered into a veterinary science, it's fine enough. Even now you can enter into it through the animal clinics. The next is fisheries and aquaculture. Yes, vermiculture, aquaculture, uh, fisheries, even sericulture. These are a uh, growing tremendous uh, field. I can say very specifically, uh, sericulture and vermiculture are the field which gives you a lot of salary in hand. So definitely you want to start a business, you can go for a sericulture or you can go for vermiculture. Or even if you love to take up fisheries or aquaculture, you can definitely go for it. And if someone loves to work in an environmental sector, definitely you can go for environmental environmental and ecosystem and definitely forest laboratories whether it is in India or overseas you can enter into any of the forest laboratories environment and forest ministry you can enter and central marine fisheries this is going to be the government institution you can go for it which is CMFRI or CIFI okay now you know which sector to enter where to apply whether in a private sector or in a government sector or overseas you have tremendous opportunities zoology candidate can enter into a company as a microbiologist also you can enter into a company even as a bioinformaticians if you have a skill of computer so it is up to you where you want to land up so private sector you can enter or government sector you can enter or you can enter into a overseas suppose i've just listed a few of the things you can enter into achiever sports which is a private company where you can join as a medical coding experts initially if you do not find any of these things it's just the basic one and J Research Foundation, here you can enter as a junior research fellow. I'm not restricting you only to this private sector. There are many, many private company which recruits zoology candidates. And GPSC Regulatory India Private Limited, this is they are recruiting ecotoxicologists. This ecotoxicologist, even a botany candidate can also apply for it. This is basic private sectors that you can actually apply for. And there are government sectors which is literally really good enough to enter like Wildlife Trust of India, Wildlife Institute of India, we, we do have VT, uh, WTI and even Wildlife Institute of India. Here you can enter as a project assistant, project associate, project scientist, research scientist, any of these things you can enter. And of course, if you are a zoology student, you can enter into Zoological Survey of India. As well as you can enter into a media field like National Geography Channel, you can enter and you can also work if you love to work in a media field. And here you can join as a JRF and you are going to get the stipend and National Institute of Oceanography. If someone loves fisheries, aquaculture, then definitely if you want a government job, then definitely you can go for NIO and you can work as a project associate, junior, senior, and then you can become a resource associate and then you can join any one of these things. These are the best government sectors that you can enter through and there are a lot of CSIR laboratories, ICMR laboratories and there are a lot of DBT institutions, DST institution which recruit zoology candidates also. You can literally find in the 
website, either of the notifications that you see, they also ask for MSc in zoology. So in that case, if you want to become a junior research fellow, you can definitely go for it if all the criteria matches. So it's not only this institute you can enter, you can enter into any of the research institutes. And if you want to go in for overseas, of course, overseas has a, a probability of entering as a zoo educator. Yes. And veterinarian, of course, it has a overall heritage for it and conservation scientists and marine biologists, wildlife rehabilitator and environmental scientists. And suppose if you love to write, whether it's botany candidate or whether it's zoology candidate, you can become a scientific technical writer also. So these are the opportunity if you are belonging to a zoology candidate. Now the next question for us is what is the salary trend for you? So how much you're going to get if you are going to be a zoology candidate in India, if I am talking about uh, as a fresher, you'll be getting 3.5 lakhs per annum. If you go for abroad, the salary actually varies. If you are expertise, suppose if you know uh, some kind of skills, then definitely you're going to get almost rupees 10 lakhs. And most of the countries uh, in any part of the world, if you talk about uh, South Africa, usually recruits a lot of zoology candidates. So South Africa, Australia, definitely Australia, United Kingdom, Canada, New Zealand, Sweden, and of course, our country, India also does that. So these are some of the opportunity for zoology candidate, but you have a lot of opportunity if you want to enter as a researcher also. I'm just listing out few of the opportunity, very specially for all the zoology candidate. So look around this. If you have any questions, you can definitely put it in the comment section. And what about the zoology candidates? What are the candidates who can look for a botany career? Yes. So who can look for? Yes, if you're belonging to any of these things, botany or gen genetics or plant biotechnology, if you're studying or cell biology or plant anatomy or ecology or marine science, marine science people, whoever studying botany or zoology, you can apply for most of the posting, whether it's microbiology or anything. Botany candidates also, they will prescribe. Zoology candidates are also prescribed because we know when you do any kind of research, we can perform in a plant and then we used to introduce the drug moiety into an animal. So both are correlated. So almost most of the works are going to be related to both the fields, I can say. Sectors you can enter. What are the sectors? As I mentioned already in case of zoology also, you can enter into research and development, whether in a company or in a research institute. As research assistant, project assistant, JRF, SRF, research associate, or if you want to become a technical assistant, you can actually go for it. Technical assistant doesn't require PhD. If you have your MSc plus little bit of experience, you can enter as a technical assistant in most of the research institute, whether it is botany or zoology. And of course, since it is going to be botany field, you can enter into agricultural sector also. Pharmaceutical sector, both zoology candidates can also enter. Uh, botany candidates also can enter. Horticulture, definitely for botany candidates and agriculture candidates and enter. Environmental, botany and zoology, all are welcomed in this field. Educational institute, of course, it is open for every field. Forestry, yes, forestry sex sector is uh, you both zoology and botany also can enter. Food sector is very specifically for uh, botany, I can say. And uh, drug production, both the things are involved, botany and zoology candidates. Biotech companies, of course, ecology, agronomy and economic botany. So you can enter into most of the sectors which are almost related to botany and zoology, very specifically like agriculture or horticulture, very specifically recruit botany candidate. The rest of the things are going to be common for both botany and zoology. Now the question for you is where to apply? Okay, you got to know, okay, which sector you, you can enter. The next question is, where do I have to apply? You can go for a government job or for the private jobs. As we have mentioned in case of zoology also, if you want to go for a government job, same botany or zoology candidate, you can uh, write SSE exam, IBPS exam, SBI exam. If you do not want to enter into botany or zoology, you can go for civil service exam or Indian forest service exam. Indian forest service exam, both botany and zoology candidates can also write. Private jobs, usually private jobs, most of the companies, if you see microbiology or biopharma company or biotechnology a company recruits both the candidates like botany and zoology. If they have a very specific technical handling skills, then definitely they are going to take you whether it's botany or zoology. If you want to enter into government sectors, very especially for botany candidates who can enter. Of course, ICAR always takes uh, candidates who belong to plant biology or plant biotechnology or botany. And Indian Environmental Society can recruit plant people, people who are doing botany also, zoology also. 
botanical survey of india definitely it also recruits plant and indian agriculture research institute which is definitely going to recruit botany candidates ic uh, icfre which is going to be forestry research and education this can recruit both botany and zoology candidates also and ministry of environment and forest also recruit both the candidates and the energy and research institute teri recruits both the candidates and wildlife protection society of india also recruits both botany and zoology candidate as i mentioned previously wildlife trust of india or wildlife institute of india government sector you can enter from botany and zoology also so and indian environmental society these are all government jobs where you can apply whether you botany or zoology you can apply cftri is mainly for botany students food so it is mainly for botany students what are the companies that exclusively recruits botany candidates sun pharma sun pharma usually recruits microbiology candidates biotechnology candidates botany candidates zoology candidates all can go environmentalist doshan limited or cargill taxonomist taxonomist can be a botany candidate also zoology candidate also can go for it now the question for us is what is the average salary of a botanist in an india it can be any of these fields you can see plant biochemist you're going to get this much taxonomist 4 lakh per annum morphologist ecologist cytologist and plant physiologist so if you're belonging to any one of these if you want to enter you can look around the salary package this is just an average salary package you can enter what are the top companies abroad there are many top companies which usually going to be food tech companies which recruits botany candidates so these are some of the companies abroad which recruits very specifically botany candidates so you can look around the top companies which is listed here and then you can apply so what are the job profiles you can apply to yes as i already told you whether you are botany or zoology you can become a conservationalist and here it is going to be plant explorer forest officer both can apply definitely both can apply ecologist also both can apply plant biochemist you can become geneticist molecular biologist both can apply taxonomist both can apply plant pathologist r and d both botany and zoology candidates can go nursery manager and conventionalist so you can look around which profile you like to go in for you can apply for it as i mentioned earlier in zoology south africa australia us usually recruits lot of zoology candidate but okay, but you can see here usa germany japan denmark sweden ireland malaysia and most of the europe countries recruits botany candidates more than the zoology candidates so look around the countries that you would love to go to and you can literally go for it and if you're going to see in case of us this is in dollars ecologists get um, 78 and if you're going to see it over here taxonomists get more which means if you're working as a taxonomist for plant or for animal whatever it is zoology or botany the package of us is literally going to be high for a taxonomist so these are the salary trends in case of a us so we have seen the comparison of both the zoology career scope and botany career scope when i have to talk about botany and zoology mostly all the job profiles are correlated with each other whether it's government job or whether it is going to be the jobs in the us very specifically you have to analyze uh, which countries recruits most of the zoology candidates which countries recruits most of the botany candidates and then you can go for it just look around the sectors that you would love to enter and if you would love to enter as a researcher then definitely you can start writing the examination if you guys want to know more about the job notification very specially for zoology and botany very specifically about your internship of your job opportunities you can def- definitely look into biotechnical website where you will get all the information of zoology careers and botany careers that will be on the line for you so look into it so that you get one of the thing that you really wish to do so so thank you all of you for your time i believe that this video is helpful for all of you so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel biotechnica thank you all of you